G'day Virgo, welcome to TJ Terra Dam Under. Gonna do the love energy coming towards you as at now. It's current. So we'll see what's happening. Um, it's a general reading, so take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, you can check out your other placements or check out my playlist and see if something resonates for you there. Give me three cards for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. Cross watches. This could be your energy. If not, it will be somebody else's. You're not the only one that's probably interested in Virgo. <laughs> One more card, please. Okay, let's get the clarifiers and then we'll start. All the decks are pre-shuffled and are listed below in the description box in the order that I'm using them in case you're interested. Clarify card number one, please. Number two, please. Okay. That's a lot. <laughs> and clarify card number three, please. And just one card for the last one. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, let's see what we've got. Retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Ooh. They retreated from you. Ooh. The death card, because it's over. The Hierophant. Mm hmm. And the Fool. Okay. So they've retreated from you because something ended. The commitment ended. Three major arcana. But then wanting to fool around with you is what I'm hearing. They still want to fool around with you. Take that leap of faith, a new beginning. Something ended that was holding on by a thread. A commitment here. But they believe that there could be a new beginning. Alright. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Okay. So they've got a lot there about their belief systems in love. The Wheel of Fortune. They think things can turn around. I'm going to put them down. Ten of Pentacles and have that long-term stability with you again. So they believe it could turn around and have long-term stability with you again. After everything fell apart, that is their wish fulfillment. <sighs> yeah, after everything fell apart, there it is, their wish fulfillment. All right. I'm not emotionally fulfilled walking away. It wasn't emotionally fulfilling for you, I'm feeling. And they're reviewing it, all the seeds they planted in the past. How they held back their emo controlled their emotions. King of Cups didn't show it when they had beautiful love right there. Ace of Cups. They didn't see it. They believe they can turn this around and get that wish. But it wasn't emotionally fulfilling investing in this connection because they would, didn't want to put their feet into the emotional water here when the beautiful overflow of love was offered to them. And now they're in absolute disappointment with themselves that they didn't do that. Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Disappointed that they didn't have give you balance, give and take. 
disappointed in themselves. Because they, well, they could have given to others as well. You all know the story. But yeah, they're disappointed in themselves now. They believe that they can get this back together, but... <laughs> Reviewing how it wasn't emotionally fulfilling, holding back their emotions when love was here. Now they're left with the sadness and spilt cups. Wishing they could balance it out again. Get that balance back. Past life relationship, you've known each other before. Yeah, I knew, yeah, well we know this is someone from the past. And the four of cups, yeah. And I think in the past, they've tried to offer something, but you, mm, you've had better better options, maybe. Other options. In the past, they weren't interested in what you were offering. Hmm. Yeah, they're thinking about all of this, Virgo. Thinking about it all. Hmm. All right, give me three more for the love energy coming towards Virgo, please. How many is there? Two. One more, please. Hope you're all doing well. Feeling good. Had a good week and weekend. Come on, one more, please. Thank you. Let's get the clarifiers. Clarify card number one, please. And row two. Hmm, that's interesting. Clarify card number two, please. Yeah, they're in a lot of regret, that's for sure. Okay, number three, please. They had something good and they didn't appreciate it, did they? All right. There's a flipper in here. Oh, there it is. I'm going to get the one off the floor. Okay. All right. The end of a tough cycle approaches. Full moon in Capricorn. Yeah, they want to end this not being with you. Ten of Wands. Yeah, the burden. Massive burden. Nine of Swords. The nightmare. And the Hierophant of this, yeah. Of this connection. The commitment. They want this back, yeah. They want it... Bring an end to the burden and the nightmare of not having this commitment with you again. Also, they believe that the cycle is going to end of their me with this burden and nightmare. Okay. They believe it can come to an end. They, yeah, they believe they can get you back. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. The hermit with you, yeah, that's you. That's your energy. Release all the negativity between you two. Knight of Cups coming with actions of love. The hangman. And hope that you'll see it from their pers 
Wow, see things from your perspective or see things from their perspective. Change your perspective of them, the negativity. Hoping that if they bring love to you, actions of love to you, you'll change your perspective. They don't want to believe it's a dead end, that it's over. That, okay, that's what I'm hearing. Don't let pride get in your way. Full moon in Leo. Mm, did they let pride get in their way before? Mm. Three of Wands. Okay. Knight of Wands. Mm. The Emperor. Wow. And the Three of Swords. Yeah. Because their pride got in the way before, didn't it? They made you wait while they went off and acted like, yeah, a player, maybe. Maybe acted like a player. Passionate action, like they were young and carefree and just passionate action. Made you wait for love while they just had their fun. Tried to control the situation and it ended in heartbreak. Yeah, they tried to control it. Well, they acted carefree and made you wait. Ended up with a broken heart. Yeah, break your heart. Break their own heart. All right, let's have a look at the bottoms before we see what they would like to say. Wedding, this situation involves marriage. Children, your love life's being evicted by children and true love. This is a romance of a lifetime soulmate. They see you as their true love soulmate. They know they acted childish. That's what I treat this card as, an aspect of their energy. I don't involve children in my readings. If you've seen them before and this card's come up. Um, that This is a child-like energy from them. And they were childish, immature in this connection. Whether it was an actual marriage or just a commitment, they acted immature. Now seeing that you gave them true love, that you wanted to be their soulmate. Now they're hoping they can change, get you to have an open mind that they've changed. But mm, Six of Wands, ooh, Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Why is that in reverse? I don't take reversals. Hmm. Well, I guess they were just seeking attention, weren't actually offering stability here. Two of Wands, now they don't know, now they're stuck at a crossroads because they're left with a massive burden here. And you, male or female, have your sword up because they didn't come correctly. So you're guarding your heart with the sword. No matter what they say. You're hearing too slow. Yep, too many fights. Five of Wands. Oh, too slow. There's competition now, Virgo. You got someone else interested. Mm. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. What do you need to release? Wedding moon or warning moon? And a fiery climax approaches. Yeah, see? They need, they know. Prosper, I'm hearing, they know prosperity lies ahead for you. They need to release a fire and up about everything. Causing drama. Communication is key. Yeah, the, didn't know how to communicate. Too immature. Would always fire up about everything. They, they know they need to stop doing that. If they want, yeah. Well, they should have stopped doing that before. I don't know what sort of chance they're going to have of coming back. But that's up to you. Seven of Swords. Yeah, cheating, lying, stealing. Cheated themselves out of this. The lovers out of a soulmate connection. They cheated a soulmate connection. Cheated themselves out of it. Six of Pentacles, a balance give and take relationship because they held back their emotions. Now it's all unknown. The unknown card's an extra card in this deck. <laughs> now they don't know. They've got no idea how to get you back. Yep, yeah, and that's all they think about. Eight of Swords stuck in their head. 
about how do they get you back after what they did. Alright, let's have a look at what they would like to say to you, Virgo. Hmm. I regret what I did to you. Oh, yes, they do. Definitely. Massive regret right now. What would this love energy like to say to Virgo, please? Okay. Alright, we have... I'm afraid of commitment. Yep, they were afraid of committing. They were afraid of commitment. They were too immature for a commitment. I should have told you how I felt. Yeah, well... Should have told Virgo that you were afraid of commitment. But they thought it was a childish little game they were playing by holding back their emotions. Not telling you how they really, if they really cared or not. You turn me on, see, it's all about passion here. This is about passion. The lust. I love holding you. Yeah, they miss that. They miss have. Oh, they miss having a hold on you. Ooh, and I want you back. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That was that emperor. Yeah, the emperor controlling the situation. <coughs> I love your smile. Well, they love it when you smile at them. But see. They don't want to love you. They just want to be single. And they don't want you to contact them. This is someone who just wants to control you. Can we at least be friends? See, even trying to control you in, as a, in a friend's way. Stop you from seeing other people. Yeah, I think they're worried about you having other... Con get moving on to somebody else. Hmm, because I don't feel that, hmm, yeah, see, that they want to stop the fighting, yeah, release that negativity with you by showing you actions of love, but it is just to keep you stuck, they know their ego lost them out, and in the past they might have offered love, but... They think they can win you back. And the tough cycle could be... Have they retreated because of the relationship connection's over and they're free? They want to be wanted to be free? Mm. But I'm just feeling a control energy. A control energy. They... Yeah... They just want to con try and control you because of your prosperity and your success. And that you've started a stable new beginning for yourself is what I'm hearing. And they're stuck at a crossroads not knowing what to do. I think you're doing fine, Virgo. <laughs> They're the ones that are struggling with the fact that they can't control you anymore. Ah, they want you back, but for the wrong reasons. Mm. All right, well, that's your reading, Virgo. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Be nice in the comments. I'd appreciate that. And thanks for watching. All the best. Take care. Good luck. And I'll catch you later.